Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic. Mic, are you there? Mic. Mic, talk to us. Mic. Mic. This is it. I'll play it. We'll play it. It's only two minutes, and I don't think we'll get copyright because it's like a parody. What is it? You probably may have heard it. Are we recording? We are recording. <sighs> All right, everybody. Welcome to the Real Lineals. Hell yeah. R.I.P. Harambe, we're still thinking of you, and it's 2017. To this Dr. Chorizo video, <laughs> the fuck 2016. Welcome to the Millennials. I'm Pat. I'm Ruby. Thanks for checking in with us on our first podcast of the new year, 2017. Yeah, guys, we took a slight break, but we are back. What's this thing say? You have three choices. <gasps> Monitor off means your speakers while you record to prevent feedback. Let's you hear your performance while you record. Monitor on. No feedback Let's use your while you record. Oh, yeah, put monitor on. Maybe that setting didn't change cause that to happen. Okay, so. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you see me? I can hear you. All right, cool. You sound like two. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So, yeah, that was a song that I heard at work the other day. That's awesome. I was like, man, that's... You touched on everybody. Everybody. Kind of indicative of how 2016 was. Yeah, that's... uh, 2016 was sad. Did you see the horror movie on the 2016 horror movie? I thought just that short sentence would get it. You'd be like, yeah, I saw it. Anyways, um, this, the, these, these nope. guys made this 
trailer. It's a fake trailer. It's, uh, it was called 2016, and it was a horror film. And it touched on a lot of those things, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Um, but uh, the one of the guys that was in it, he's actually in Goodland, too. So, oh, shit. Yeah, he got, they got a lot of views. They got, like, I mean, the last time I checked, they had, like, 13 million views. 13 million views. Damn. Yeah. And it, it, it was it was really funny stuff. Um, but they captured 2016 as well. It was a, a crazy year. Yeah, it's been definitely interesting. Um, I had a lot of personal ups and downs. Same. Uh, Same as well as I feel like it, we collectively as a country had a lot of ups and downs. Yes, there's um, a lot of issues going on in the world right now. Stay woke, people. Remember that. <laughs> Stay fucking woke. Stay woke. What's the motto for 2017? Stay woke. 2016. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I, for one, had a pretty rough 2016. I mean, I. that being said, I hope myself and everyone out there can, you know, keep their head up and stay positive always. But, uh, yeah. New beginnings, new beginnings, 2017. That's Here what, we go. That's what January feels like to me. It, it does feel like new beginnings, but uh, 2016 was hard. But you know what? We have to reflect. We have to, you know, think about what happened in the p- past year, and we have to learn from it. If you're not, I feel like I need to do that more because I, uh, I tend to learn lessons a few times. It takes me a few times to learn things, so yeah. uh, taking some time to review what you've been going through, how you feel, um, struggles, you know, strengths, wins, it's important, especially around this time of year. It's it, renewing. It definitely gives you perspective if you take a look at those things and evaluate them for what they are and for uh, just the experiences of it. I mean learning from it and moving forward and try to avoid making the same mistakes twice for sure well and it takes perspective too i mean when you're in the thick of the situation it's really hard to not think with your emotions and with your feelings and and or try to analyze it too much and not think with your emotions and your feelings so after you're removed from the situation is i think it's a it's a good time to evaluate what was actually maybe going on because you look back and sometimes you think, oh, that wasn't even important. Or sometimes you think, wow, that really showed me that I can or that I should or that I need to. Um, hmm. So 2016 wasn't all bad. I mean, I feel like I It learned. was great. It was a great year for the podcast. I mean, we got off the ground. Yeah. Uh, we, guys, we actually, you know what? We've been thinking about this. We've been getting together and it's something that we like to do and we're just learning and we're trying to figure out our voice and what we want to talk about um but it it's been it's it was an okay 2016 we did get this podcast up and running um i met 10 nice people uh it was good it was good (laughs) <laughs> cool, Pat's, cool, cool, Pat's cool. super concerned about our, our sound right yeah now. I was checking out the sound sorry um, yeah what uh, I mean it's been a pretty turbulent year I would say mostly because of politics yeah, uh, and the politics. political system oh, wow. I mean I, I feel like it dominated the whole year uh, it really kind of soured out like all the good things that happened at the beginning of the Still year denial yeah, I was kind of in denial, too, for a while. And, I mean, I'm not trying to... I, I don't like to the idea of bashing people on that have different political beliefs than me. It's not going to solve anything. But it is really hard to deal with what's happened this last year. Uh, that campaigning season, I mean, it was... Even before the election happened, it was depressing, right? Because it was so negative. You know, there's so much negativity on both sides. And I probably am guilty of participating in that to some extent as well. Uh, which, I mean, no one should feel be made to feel guilty about being passionate about the future of their country, right? I mean, or no. their community even in general. But 
uh, on either side of the spectrum, but there is a lot of lost respect towards different to towards people and their beliefs, uh, and it's just overall pretty negative. Um, and then yeah, and then so the election happened, and I don't feel like even most of that has even healed from before the election. You know, much less people have a chance to deal with the outcome of the election. Uh, so that's been kind of intense. I mean, I'd like to say that I'm optimistic about the future, at least my personal future and uh, humanity in general. I mean, as Joe Rogan says all the time, we've never lived better in the history of humanity than we live today. So uh, overall, you can't be too upset about it. Uh, and you just got to stay positive, if anything. And I've, I've had friends on my Facebook and my social media say that it is really important to recognize that this this should be looked at as uh, important to recognize the idea that you shouldn't have to rely on your government for anything really at all, for your happiness in particular, but for the outcome of your life. And that's true to a certain extent. So, uh, yeah, so it's kind of hard to reconcile all of that, you know, all of that philosophy with what is the going on and the reality of society right now that's there's just there's just been so many negative things that have happened and i'm a very optimistic person people i love always looking for the silver lining but you cannot deny the fact that it's been kind of a depressing year a lot of people have been oppressed there's been a lot of sadness going on like a lot of brutality a lot of misunderstanding a lot of um, just like general unease in in this country, like Standing Rock, that was uncomfortable for a shit ton of people. You know, um, we're still gonna be dealing with that. They, oh, they we stopped. did not talk about Standing Rock hardly at all. No, but you while know, while it was going on, that was a huge important issue. That was a big thing, and I mean, all all these all these police shootings, all of this police brutality, the militarization of our of our law enforcement um that's sad too remember did you watch 13th with me we watched 13th didn't we um no, no, i right? watched it at home watched i think it. uh that made me sad too that came out this past year as well yeah that was some truth that was like that uh Eastbound and down, when he's like, I'm about to fuck you up with some truth. <laughs> that was that documentary. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what that felt like. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, I don't want to be completely negative. I mean, I feel like there's. Yeah, we're no cynics. Plenty uh, opportunity for greatness in, in the future and in 2017. Uh, the podcast is going. We had we did take a brief hiatus. There was uh, some issues going on. Ruby had some issues <laughs> too. I had issues too at home. Uh, I had a burst pipe at my house. <laughs> that was not awesome. No, that's what adulting is. You have to figure out adulting home repair. You know, when you go to Home Depot and you feel productive during the day, that's when you know you're a fucking adult. And I bet you've made some trips to Home Depot, right? Pat? Lowe's, like, actually. I live closer to Lowe's. Oh. And I've been there probably five to six, maybe seven times in the past couple of weeks. Those are... Oh, that's such an adult problem. Anyways. And I have to keep, go some more, so... But anyways, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, I... 2017 is still going to be on the up. I'm still on an upward tick, I think. Good. Uh, and yeah, I'm just looking to get to and remain at a place of creativity uh, moving forward for the podcast and otherwise. And so, yeah, kind of crazy. It's I and I I also want those things, but uh, but my. My wrap up of 2016 wasn't the greatest, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? So what happened? This, uh, this, this, the end of this year. Actually, I had a really good year. I had a really good year. I joined Beta Blocks, which is. What, what am I doing? Go down. Okay. Um, 
cat is distracting me and shit. Sorry. I was trying to tell a story. What was I talking about? Uh, I think uh, you said something about oh. beta blocks. <laughs> oh, this year was a good year because I got into beta blocks. I met some really great people. I had some really good opportunities to help my peers. I, um, it was good. I worked with some good people, but I ended it with, uh, what might turn out to be my actual Achilles heel, which is I ruptured my real Achilles heel. And so I'm currently on the mend right now, and that's what Pat means by we had some shit happen. Yeah. Like, I had surgery, Oof. I was not working, I haven't been walking, I have a, I have a boot now, um, and I'm on the way to recovery, but it's it's been a pretty depressing couple of weeks. Like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy how much... Uh, it's crazy how much like feeling productive does for your morale. I didn't feel very productive, but I knew I was healing, so I knew I had to like rest and be easy and be cool and let my body just kind of like start feeling better because you can't push yourself. That's called you will burn yourself out, and that's not good. And you know what? Americans do that. Americans, we overwork ourselves. So I didn't want to. I I did not want that to interfere with my health. So I kicked it. But it was it was kind of it was kind of sad. Um, the past few weeks, I had you know, and it was during the holidays, and I couldn't really leave the house. I was just at home, and my sister helped me out a lot. Carla helped me out a lot. Pat came and kept me company. Like um, that's how I ra- wrapped up my 2016. So I'm starting my 2017 by trying to figure out this walking thing with my leg again, and. Uh, just looking I'm always looking to make moves like I mean they're always adding I'm just adding more to my plate I like to be busy guys this podcast likes to be busy too so we are working on some stuff oh yeah we so are working on some stuff well okay so what so that kind of brings us up to date a little bit about what's been going on uh, we do want to take some time to appreciate what the good things that have happened for sure. We've gotten the podcast going. Uh, the YouTube is up. The SoundCloud is up. The Twitter is not up, I don't think. Twitter needs to be unlocked. But we can do that. I'll do that today. We'll insert a ching right there. <laughs> unlocked. Unlocked. <laughs> Twitter unlocked. You may now proceed. But uh, we're gonna use that. We'll get that going, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to producing some more high quality content coming up. Um, yeah. So we, right. So what else? Let's let's talk about current issues. We just covered the past. Okay. Yeah, cover current. what's going on right now. Current. So what what has happened in the past couple of days? That I mean, I haven't really been guys. I've been trying to prepare myself to go back to work, like and, and start being productive at my job. I've I've gotten over I'm at the tail end of this injury and I'm ready to work and so I haven't really been keeping up with too much stuff. But there's a there's a couple of things that that have happened. Um so La La Land. Have you seen that? Have you heard of that? I've I've heard about it. What's La about La Land? It? It's uh, it's a movie about LA and it has Ryan Gosling swoon uh, <laughs> and, and Emma what's her Emma Watson no what is her name Emma Watson I fucked the up. British one no she's got short red hair what is her name no it's not that, that's Emma Watson Emma Stone I'm sorry oh Emma Stone Ooh, okay yeah I'm sorry Emma Stone I know we're gonna be best friends but um, <laughs> do not I fucked up her name I'm sorry uh, but anyways, that won Best Picture of the Year yesterday at the Academy Awards. And I don't get how it just came, literally just came out. Like, just came out. How did it get Best Picture uh, Yeah, because the they can submit it, like... Oh, prior soon, to... Yeah, as soon as the movie's done, they can submit it for consideration. Oh, even if it's, like, months before the that. official release date. No, so that won, and I think that's exciting. I... I'm a big fan of the movies, so sometimes I keep up with this kind of news. Uh, Denzel has a new movie, too. It's called Fences. Looks oh, pretty yeah? good. He said it's a really good performance. Hmm. Him and the other lady, I don't oh, I don't know her name. She's been in some stuff, though. 
What else? What else is going on currently? Any what's there was Kanye, a, uh, Kanye, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing out there? There's a shooter, right? There's a shooter <gasps> in, in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. Yeah. Ooh, that my, happened. My boss showed up there twenty four hours prior. Wow. He was gone. Oh, he, if he would have showed up the next day, he'd have been there. That guy's an asshole. <laughs> like the guy that shot up he shot up some old some old old people, dang, elderly people. What a what a dick. Yeah, I saw the people that <laughs> I saw the people that got shot up. Yeah, you're the worst. <laughs> and, they, and they were oh, I should be laughing. That's not I'm not laughing about this. I'm definitely not laughing about these people that got shot up. Oh man. Oh I'm laughing at an inside joke. But it's terrible what this person did. He shot up these old people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still not laughing about this. This is, we're really sorry. You guys, oh my had, God. you guys had to be here. Get to be here. <laughs> oh. uh, you guys should see the studio too. Oh I mean, my goodness. Just the stuff we're seeing. We have. Anyways, this guy, he shot up a bunch of people, five people at an airport, killed, put multiple more people in was, the hospital. He was Puerto Rican, is that true? I think, I mean, I like, he's Hispanic. His name is Esteban something or other. What? I'm tired of hearing about these shootings. You know, they make these um, locks for, you know, the doors that have the metal piece above that, like, pulls it back and forth. It's like mm-hmm. a, you. Can, it's like a triangle thing that you put over it. Or that you wrap around the... Uh, door handle so that no no intruders can come in. Like they're selling that to schools now. All every classroom in America is gonna have a fucking wow. lock device for their for their door, other than the lock that it already probably has. Right? That's yeah. That's pretty alarming. That that's something that we have to arm our places of education. Like that pretty much sucks. And and it's mm-hmm. not it's not exclusive to urban or city. Um, settings you know uh, like columbine was in colorado that was a small suburb you know? Sh- chicago recently had the most mergers of any city or i don't know if any city ever in the u.s but like in recent history i think it's a record chicago and they like it was like tripled the previous like oh, their previous time no murder, murder like gun that's just gun murder 760 some murders that's in the year. so sad. Uh, it's crazy. And I'm not even trying to suggest that we just, like, immediately this conversation leads to gun control. Take away the guns. They're coming for my guns. They're from my guns. That's not what I'm trying to say, really. I'm just trying to point out the fact that it's pretty absurd. I mean, like, is it one of those things that we just shrug our shoulders? Is that is that what we do? Because, I mean... It seems that's what the majority of people do, whether they want to or not. They're just like, oh, it's not my problem. Yeah, until your, you know, close loved one gets shot. I'm, not, I'm just not a big fan of guns. And I, that, that doesn't mean I don't understand why people would like a gun. I mean, I get it. People safe. Maybe you hunt with it. Maybe it's a family sort of thing, you know our settlers had guns i'm okay with that but for me it just seems so dangerous like it really could harm somebody and i that's like my last intent probably why i need mm-hmm. to find a man so he can worry about that shit because <laughs> i definitely don't i'm like oh do you want to hug like you know it's it's uh guns are just they make me feel uneasy i've never shot one have you shot a gun mm-hmm. a rifle not a handgun Shot BB gun and a, like a twenty two caliber rifle. I definitely shot a laser gun, like a real laser. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's been kind of just crazy. I'm trying to think. Like Donald Trump is about to be sworn in as president on the twentieth. I don't know. I'm gonna miss Obama, Barack Obama. Yeah. The president. Of my heart. 
<laughs> You'll always be present in my heart. You'll always Barry. be present in my heart. Barry O. <laughs> he, they're so awesome. They had a party. Yeah. They had a, like a I know. Party. I, mean, I didn't get invited, so I'm kind of like, fuck Obama right now. <laughs> <laughs> it probably got lost in the mail with mine. <laughs> That's probably what he would say too. He'd be like, he'd be like, Barry, what the hell, man? He'd be like, oh, Pat, yeah, uh, yeah, see, uh, it had to have been lost in the mail. I'm sorry. <laughs> next time. Next time. <laughs> next time, my uh, next party at the White House, Pat. Yeah, here's a pen. Do you want a pen? Here's a pen. 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 Uh, so because of that, I'm kind of like, fuck Barry O. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't. I hope he. I hope he sticks around. He's gonna stick around, right? He's gonna stick around. He's gonna do more stuffs. What's he gonna do? So I is mean, Hillary, right? Or is she up in the mountains in a cave? Maybe he could go back to Illinois and be. You know what he should do is go to, like a slightly more conservative state and become like a senator or something. You think so? Yeah, some place that doesn't have. He studied law, didn't he? Um. Just yeah. He was a professor of law. <gasps> I need at to Harvard. read his book. I heard it's really good. I need to that yeah. okay, so that is one of my I don't want to call them resolutions, but goals is to read more. Um and I already consume quite a bit, but I want to actually read. It takes I it takes a, it takes a certain type of fucking patience. I can't read anymore. I don't I have that patience anymore. I don't either, but I'm Not like Not since gonna, the internet. I'm like, gonna try. When I was a kid, I read so many books, I like so many books dozens and dozens, and I probably read three hundred books by the time I was like thirteen or fourteen years old. It's good. But then, it. like after the internet, it's kind of like I can't do it. I can read short articles and watch YouTube videos and short clips of news and, and information. Like movies. That's not necessarily true. I can watch movies. I can watch documentaries all day. I've been watching mega structures and stuff. There's a visual sense to it. Yeah, for it's sure. Nice. Um, I I do podcasts too. Like I listen pretty well. I like to do other tasks. Like I'll clean or cook and listen to a podcast, and I can retain information. It's, but there's something about reading. Like I don't know if that's the best. If that's my best way of absorbing information, either. Maybe that's why. But I did when I was younger. Like that's yeah. so crazy. I feel like I'm wasting time. That's I think that's the difference. As a kid, there was not. You had all the time in the world to waste because there's nothing you had to. Nothing else you had to be doing. Oh, that's true. As an adult, when I'm reading, I'm like, oh, I could be cleaning, or oh, I could be running errands, or oh, I could be worrying about work, or something else. Yeah. And, like, and literally anything else. Well, and with your phone, you know, like, somebody could be calling you, you could be in emails, yeah. like, you could be distracted. And oftentimes, we are. I, uh, do you ever get into, into flow? Have you heard of that? Flow? Yeah, I like, think you like told me about flow? this. Um... I'm I'm trying to figure out how to how to do that how to work my my creative flow out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to a more inspired point to where I'm able to do that as well. Well, I just want to I want to have some more meaningful work, and I feel like I'm I, I work right now. I work in probably like hours or a couple of like minutes at a time. Uh, right now, I work at on minutes at a time. You know, I need to have probably like three hours of focusing on the same task to like get something done on it but I don't have that attention span anymore like I can't sit there for three hours without looking at my phone without checking the time without like you know fucking around pretty much yeah. it's hard but people do it and that's when people create their like most creative work yeah I just need to get back oh my what I need to just get back in the flow of things, I should say. Just need to get back in the flow, my creative flow. Creative flow. But that's part of the goals, I think. I mean, that's part of what is... That's part of why we're doing this. We get a chance to express ourselves and help people and um, give advice and take advice. And what else? I mean, those are our goals, really, for the podcast. Yeah. We, we want to just grow and help mm -hmm. people and, you know, do... 
Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that's part of it. Like, just do. Yeah, we want to just do stuff. Just be able to express, and I mean, we have what's our tagline? We have a tagline, right? Stay woke. There's <laughs> a list of three things. Uh, we want to inform, entertain, and connect. Connect. So that's those are the things we'll be aiming to achieve in 2017. Uh, we have a different um, <coughs> Pat me. stops mid sentence <laughs> and leaves us hanging <laughs> on his every word. Sorry, uh, I was gonna change what I was gonna say, but then I had a cough. <coughs> I will strangle um, you. <laughs> uh, so, no, I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to say is we have goals and we have um, basically an outline uh, of things that we want to try to achieve with the podcast yeah. coming up um, over the course of the next uh, few months, uh, six months, and then towards the end of the year. But during that timeline, we want to implement more highly produced content. We want to possibly bring in, not possibly, we do, we want to bring in cameras and air hopefully our, our podcast has videos on YouTube, something like Joe Rogan does a little bit. He goes live. We probably won't be doing live immediately, um, but we do want to have a visual aspect of our message. Um, I, I think that uh, body language and particularly facial expressions are huge uh, in terms of disseminating information, but also as a... Uh, an important aspect of the entertainment part. If you're going to be entertained by it, I think that's a big part of it as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll hopefully be looking to bring in... Uh, we'll have some guests coming up, um, which we can't disclose the information just yet. I am going to disclose it, actually. And, uh, book, Pat. I'm going to tell you guys. Okay. Well, we must tell you. Uh, <laughs> we'll hopefully start getting video podcasts. We're going to incorporate more specific things and segments uh, related to um, music and uh, fashion and sports and more journalistic segments. We talked about this a little bit when we, when we first launched, uh, but we just want it to be a little bit more clear and um, contribute a little bit to the to solidifying the goals and the aspirations of this entire project. Uh, but, yeah, we'll be holding it down and thinking 2017, uh, you know, as rough as it's been over the last month or so, over the last the ups and downs over, you know, over the last year that we've all experienced individually and collectively, uh, we're going to keep a positive outlook in the future, uh, particularly as it pertains to achieving our artistic and creative goals. Uh, and presenting them to you and our ideas, and hopefully we'll have a chance to interconnect, uh, entertain, and connect, inform, and uh, keep it real. Always keep it real. Uh, it's a fucking whoa. It's in the name, for sure. Um, but we really, we, here, here's who we're going to have on. Let me tell you. I've already, I've already set it up. We're going to have our music correspondent, Walking Boombox. That's where you can find him on Twitter. Um, and he is a Walking bo Boombox. He literally knows everything about every artist ever. He knows it before anybody. I don't know why. Anyways, he's going to come on. Um, and we have another of our guests that is going to be talking about probably some kind of history or maybe psychedelics. I don't know. He, he teaches me a lot of this a lot of a lot of random things but uh one of my best friends um his name is spj we're just giving out nicknames right now but spj will be here as well sometime in the next few weeks and i think you guys will enjoy what they have to talk about um pat is also learning about this right now <laughs> and uh i mean we'll probably have some some other people and i'm really excited to get some some segment put together for you guys uh i think one of the first things i'm going to be covering is death because ultimately that's what we're all thinking about yeah so <laughs> give, give us a little more about that topic what do you, uh, you know what are you looking to explore 
with uh, pursuing this? Just all the all the questions, any curiosities that I have. I have a lot of I have a lot of questions about like grief and how people handle it and how people are like their awareness of death or their ignorance or their uh, deep denial of, of what's going to happen. And ultimately it's about survival, but that survival is death as well. It's the other side of survival. It's dying. So we're always, we're, I mean, that's, I think it's biological. It's something that we unconsciously do. And, um, I'd like to explore that. I, I just like to ask questions and kind of figure it out for myself. You know, all great artists explore death. There's, there's a few topics that I'm, I'm going to love diving into. One of them is death. One of them is going to be time. Just the idea of time is mind boggling to me and the importance we place on it and the, the, the structure and the order and the chaos at the same time. Um, but I'm probably also going to be talking about some, some kind of sustainable fashion, uh, corporate social responsibility. Um, I mean, I could do a deep dive into Kanye West. Who knows? But that's what we got coming up, guys. Uh, get us, hit us up on. But I, I do, hold on. I do want to talk about two stuff that I want to explore as well. Yeah. Um, We'll, we'll try we'll be exploring a lot of these things together as well as just anchoring the show as a whole together for sure um, but there are things that we might go into uh, as individuals in terms of pursuing research and uh, and distributing it uh, and developing I should say a uh, particular message regarding those issues um, our topics uh, we do hope to have other guests on other various guests uh, Individuals that might have particular insight into uh, ongoing events that are currently happening or just things that pertain to uh, the specific research that we're looking at, things like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys will stick around for the ride of 2017. Everything's going to uh, hopefully be better from here on out. Uh, it's definitely going to be good for the podcast no matter how you slice it because uh, we're going to have a lot of good stuff coming up. I think so. (laughs) So uh, hit us up on Gmail. We're at the Relinials at gmail.com. Have you even looked at it? I haven't looked at it. Like, like a couple of weeks. So definitely hit us up. Somebody write us. (laughs) (laughs) Hit us up there. We're at uh, on Twitter at therelinials.com. Or wait, is that probably not it? At the Relenials. At the Relenials. Tweet at R-E-A-L-E. us. A L E real. R E A E L R E A L E N N I A S. Relenials. That is the Relenials. Um, we're also on SoundCloud. Our most recent episodes will always be available on SoundCloud. And if you don't go to our SoundCloud, go listen to uh, some J Cole and stuff. Definitely after you check us out. For sure after. Or before. Or take a break in the middle. But, um... It's a long outro. I know. (laughs) Uh, I was just logging into the Twitter. I just want to make sure I got all of our information correct. So, uh, thank you all for checking us out and being down for the ride. Um, hit us up like I said we de- we definitely care about what um, is entertaining to you guys so if you guys have any kind of feedback or uh, ideas or suggestions re- pertaining to the show or anything regarding any information that we have given you on the show let us know uh, feel free to let us know we'll definitely uh, respond to you as soon as possible and put it out there if we have if we need to put any corrections or anything like that but uh, we're here. Uh, we're all on this journey together. We just want to kind of make you guys laugh and experience it all with us. And uh, yeah, so I'm Pat and Ruby, and we'll see you guys later. All right, Millennial signing off. Box.